Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Listen, and remember, welcome to the channel. So, now we have this very interesting video, and it's titled Vivek Ramaswamy ends this everybody's career at the first RNC debate. Also, I'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say. Let's check it out. You raise your hand supporting. No, I'd like to yeah. get in and respond. Let's just speak the truth, okay? President Trump, I believe, was the best president of the 21st century. Mm. And Chris Christie, honest to God, your claim that Donald Trump is motivated by vengeance and grievance would be a lot more credible if your entire campaign were not based on vengeance and grievance yeah. against one man. Brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get 30% off this shirt right here. Uh, Four-time indictment champ, Donald Trump. It's funny because he's going to overcome these charges, and we're going to ram it down their throats. Mm. So go on and put Trump 4X and get 30% off the entire store. Trump 4X, get 30% off this shirt. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have commentary on this debate. Uh, it, it was absolutely amazing. I will say this. Even though President Trump wasn't there, it was still electrifying in my personal opinion. I thought that a lot of the candidates did a pretty good job. I and mean, I have respect for everybody that was on the stage. You know, I normally talk crazy about Chris Krispy Kremes and I say things like that, but I have to give them props, man. Everybody on the stage held it down and I, and I felt as if they were at least okay, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody on the stage would, would repulse me as much as a Democrat. So I think that they all, in my opinion, could, I would vote for them over Joe Biden any day of the week. But there were some amazing uh, emerging stars in this particular debate. And I'll give you my ratings here in a minute, but I thought it was uh, very competitive. I thought that people weren't afraid to talk over others. Uh, people in the debate were not afraid of, of pointing out their issues and calling out the other for the lack thereof. And I think that the moderators did a really good job at kind of carrying the debate making sure they stand their ground and allowing people to speak and not just have people arguing over each other the entire time. So I'm going to give you my top uh, finishers, the top four, I would say. Uh, number one is Vivek Ramaswamy. I thought he did an incredible job. He was clean. He was smooth. He was articulate. Yeah. He was bold. He was forward thinking. And, and he didn't fall into the trap of trying to bash Donald Trump. He mm. stood firm on that end, and he stood stood firm on what he would do for this country. And I felt like he emerged as the person who's not an insider. He was an outsider, a man that's very successful, young and enthusiastic. And I thought it came across very, very well. I don't think it was a single point that he made that I don't think he, he did an incredible job with. People are dying of bad climate change policies. This isn't that complicated, guys. Unlock American energy, drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear. Put people back to work by no longer paying them more to stay at home. Reform the U.S. Fed, stabilize the U.S. dollar, and go to war. The only war that I will declare as U.S. president will be the war on the federal administrative state that is the source of those toxic regulations acting like a wet blanket on the economy. Mr. Ramaswamy, you would not support an increase of funding to Ukraine? I would not. And I think that this is disastrous that we are protecting against an invasion across somebody else's border when we should use those same military resources to prevent across the invasion of our own southern border here in the United mm. States of America. So to the education question, how would you deal with the crisis? So look, we have a crisis of achievement. Let's shut down the head of the snake, the Department of Education. Take that $80 billion, put it in the hands of parents across this country. Mm -hmm. This is the civil rights issue of our time. Allow any parent to choose where they send their kids to school. End the teachers' unions at the local level to allow public schools to compete. And then revive our national identity where every high school senior should have to pass the same civics test that frankly every immigrant, including my mother, had to pass in order to become a citizen of this country. I am running for president of the United States. We're skating on thin ice and we cannot set a precedent where the party in power uses police force to indict its political opponents. It is wrong. We must end the weaponization of justice in this country. Second would be Ron DeSantis. I think Ron DeSantis secured himself, you know, in the top three position because Ron DeSantis had a lot of accomplishments that he was able to tout, and, and those accomplishments are not falling on deaf ears for the American people. I think Ron DeSantis has an incredible resume as a politician, probably the best resume out of all the politicians in the race outside of Donald Trump. So I think he did a really good job of being smooth on his points, uh, standing up and being a leader, 
you know, when he had to get confrontational, he was. It's not a so territorial as, as dispute President either. of the United States, your first obligation is to defend our country and its people. Mm. And that means you're sending all this money, but you're not doing what we need to do to secure our own border. We have tens of thousands oh, wow. of people who are being killed because what well, we're not handling and both. And both so I am going to declare time. it a national emergency. I'm, I'm not going to send troops to Ukraine, but I am going to send them to our southern border. Wow. This election <laughs> is not about January 6th of 2021. It's about January 20th of 2025, when the next mm. president is going to take office. I know what the Democrats Democrats would like to do. They want to talk about all these other issues, but we've got to focus on your future. One of the reasons our country's decline is because of the way the corporate media treats Republicans versus Democrats. Biden was on the beach while those people were suffering. He was asked about it. And he said, no comment. Are you kidding me? As somebody that's handled disasters in Florida, you've got to be activated. You've got to be there. You've got to be present. You've got to be helping people who are doing this. I think the third place goes to, and, and, and I don't really um, like to say this because I don't really like Nikki Haley that much as a politician, but Nikki Haley, she emerged as probably uh, in the third place position or maybe third or fourth. I don't know if she did a better job than Mike Pence or uh, Tim Scott, but I, I will say if I had to choose somebody for that third place position, it probably would be Nikki Haley. Um, I thought that, that Mike Pence did an okay job. I thought he was okay. Um, I still think he is positioned as a rhino and he was legitimately neutered by Donald Trump. And I think it's hard to overcome that. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the fact that Nikki Haley tried to play the woman card a few times. Go hold on, hold on. Hey, Governor Haley, would you like to respond? Deserves Are you so bought Brett, and paid what for? What I would like to say is the fact that I think this is exactly why Margaret Thatcher said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. But overall, I think her approach was smooth. She at least had an argument. She at least was very confident about her argument. And so that's why I give her the number three position, you know, kind of teetering between number three and four. Um, I think Tim Scott did OK. I think he was average. He said the things I expected him to say. You commit a violent crime, you go to jail. And if God made you a man, you play sports against men. Ow. Thank you, we should be we should be asking ourselves a bigger question about the weaponization of the Department of Justice. When I'm president, the first thing I'll do is fire Merrick Garland. Mm. Second thing I'll do, fire Christopher Wray, because mm. we need Lady Justice to wear a blindfold. Without that, no one has confidence in our justice system. 17% of Republicans have confidence in our Department of Justice. He didn't say anything that I think was uh, overtly controversial, or he didn't say anything that put him above everybody else. I think he was just status quo. The rest of the people, Chris Christie and all of them, I mean, they, they really have no chance. Um, I thought they added some value in the conversation, but they have no chance to become the president of the United States of America. But let me get to a couple points that I want to make about their arguments. Um, I was very disappointed that everybody on the stage, Vivek didn't have a chance to, to give him side of it when it came to the abortion argument. We need to stop demonizing this issue. This is talking about the fact that unelected justices didn't need to decide something this personal because it's personal for every woman and man. I think it's very clear that the country should at least be able to meet in the middle on heartbeat. It, you, they, they want to meet in the middle on a 15 weeks. You know dang well you are pregnant with a baby at 15 weeks. You understand how big, I mean, 15 weeks, give or take, if you if you do the math, that's about four months. Four, four yeah. You, you, you know how far along you are at around four months pregnant. You only got nine of them. And so I think that if we want to make a concession or a compromise, we should do it at the heartbeat. How do you know when a human being is alive, the heart started beating? How do you know when a human being ha is deceased, the heart stopped beating? At minimum, we should be able to come together on the heartbeat bill or the six week. I think it was about six weeks um, where the heartbeat is detected. Now, I'm the type of person that says life starts at conception, not perception. Um, but I, I believe as a nation, we should be able to come together on a heartbeat bill. Because if you start saying 15 weeks, what's the difference between 15 and 16? Mm, yeah, or is exactly. that's when the baby can start feel, can, can feel so, pain. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference between 16 and 17? Before you know it, they're at 30 some weeks. And that's no different than 15 weeks. I think we have to have a, a set period that makes sense. And 
if they want to meet in the middle, give a person the time to know they're pregnant. Listen, you don't walk down the street, slip on a banana peel and get pregnant. So if you were bumping and grinding, pumping and sweating the night before, I mean, you should at some point be curious as to whether or not I'm pregnant because of what I did last night. And so I don't think it's that hard of an issue. I wish Republicans would take a strong stance. You can still take a strong stance and be compassionate. The abortion issue should never have been federal. Now, the reason why it should never have been federal, because there's not a constitutional protection for somebody to murder their children. Mm -hmm. There is a constitutional protection of life. And I think that on a federal level, you can make restrictions on murder. If you, you know, there's no such thing as giving freedom to murder, but you can't restrict murder. That's exactly what it is. They just try to fancy it up and dice it up and make it whatever it is. And I'll say this, you can still have a compassionate approach. God can still forgive uh, people for doing that. We do need to elevate uh, uh, adoptions and, and, and helping women who have children, call, calling men to take care of their responsibility. You're laid up, you should be able to take care of the kid. Those things can be ha can happen at the same time. The Ukraine thing was another thing that I was that I was a little disappointed on because most of the candidates except a vague I think Ron DeSantis kind of barely put his hand up. I don't think he clearly answered it. But they were all in favor of funding or passing legislation to continue to fund Ukraine. And I thought that Pence had a really good explanation in, 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 as re, in regards to his support for it. But I, I like Vivek's response because I think Vivek mimics the response of people like myself that believe we should be focused on America first. We should be fighting a proxy war with Russia. Mm -hmm. I just really think we're going to end up in a nuclear war because they, they, Russia can get backed up against the wall only so far before we get into a real conflict. So I was disappointed with the with the race, but Vivek came through um, and said what he had to say. I mean, school choice, everybody was on the same page with school choice. Uh, most people were on the same page with the economy, same page with, with fracking and all of the things that we should have been doing uh, for clean energy. Uh, most people were against the electric, you know, the Green New Deal type stuff, and I, and I think that that is conducive um, as a Republican to give a Republican message. So anyway, I don't want to talk too much on this. I thought I'd give my synopsis. I thought they did a really good job. I haven't watched Trump's speech yet, but I thought all the candidates did a decent job. I think Vivek emerged as number one, in my opinion. So I think he's going to surge in the poll. I think he was clean. He was concise. He was relatable. He was likable. And it felt like his speech wasn't rehearsed. He kind of, It seemed like he kind of came off the heart. So um, I just want to give my commentary, man. I'm, I'm at the end of my, my rope today. Wow, interesting to hear. I mean, this is uh, the, uh, the officer uh, Tayson's own commentary and, and his own preferred candidates ranking, and um, interesting speech from um, all of them so far. I mean, this was this, these are just short clips that um, were shown, and um, they made um, especially before they made quite an interesting and impressive um, commentary on this but yeah um i really love your thoughts in the comment down below were you able to catch the debate with who exactly is your preferred candidate and um you can also rank them based on um how you thought them to be or based on how you think them to be and um what exactly was the moment your preferred candidate or what exactly was the moment where um you got captured by um each of the speakers of each of the candidates and um, you can share your thoughts and uh, what exactly you think they they said that really stood out for for you and uh, that you believe it, this is the right person to do the job and you can also place them based on ranking and the likes i really love to hear your thoughts in the comment down below you can share your other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video